starting a Dana 44 rebuild. Got this off Facebook Marketplace. Two for one special there. Uh, putting a Dana 20 transfer case into Bob Boy since the transmission's out. Gonna switch it to four speed. Dana 20, so I need a middle pumpkin Dana 44. And this is what we got. Um, this was better of the two of them. That one's missing teeth and uh, the pinion. Um, and then this one, pinion and carrier were good. But the issue is it had this uh, power lock on there, posi, which is not bad, but I wanted to switch it to lockers. Plus you can see where the pinion bearing was uh was going out and as it did it started eating up this housing so um it's gonna be fun it's gonna go ahead and rebuild this whole thing waiting on inner seals here they haven't showed up uh i dug into this about two weeks ago uh two sundays ago and um took it all apart cleaned it uh threw a quick little rattle can paint job on it and uh last sunday i kind of finished it up and then uh this weekend gonna start to put it back together uh most of the parts came in uh just waiting on seals um i'm just gonna go ahead and um, start putting it back together little by little re-gear it to 538s um the ones that are have right here are 488s it's not gonna work that one has like a 327 or something like that in there Bob Boy has 427s in it, so I figure right now is a good time to re-gear 538s. We're going to get busy. Yeah, this is the other bench that I have. I had it out here, the small one, but this is the second one. I had this one on the other side of the house. Uh, I was just sitting there. Um, the vise broke on it, but it kind of works sometimes, but I need to replace it. But uh, anyhow, I use it for doing axles, but um, I pull it out over here. I, um, I got wheels on it and a trailer hitch that I turn around to this side. And then with the dolly, I can move it around the yard wherever I need to. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, moving right along, nice and slow. And uh, we'll get this thing done. This is the old one. You gotta measure what they got over here. And we'll use what they got here on the new one and then uh, we'll go from there. I'll get back with you. So I got my new spacers out. Measured 45 on the old ones, they're mangled. Got my um, setup bearings ready. Measured 15 on this side. 
set up bearings. Ready to go. I'm gonna turn this around right now. Um, yeah, all kinds of variables going on right now. My head's like swarming, like. All kinds of math going on. <laughs> Sunday, just kicking back. Get it all figured out. So I got this rotational pull set at 15. Ready to turn this around. Gonna insert my pin gear with the new 538 gear on there. Set it in there. And uh, we'll see where we're at. We'll see if we gotta take some shims out or crisscross them or whatever we gotta do. The last shims I took out of there, you just saw me take out, they were completely mangled. So the measurements on there are kinda eh. But you know, this is just kind of a basket case. So, um, you know, we just gotta do what we gotta do. Plus, you know, I ain't got nothing going on today. <laughs> so we're gonna stick this in there and then uh, we're gonna run a pattern and then see where we're at. And then we'll make some changes. And then uh, at that point, we'll check our pinion depth. Um, still waiting for um, seals, but we can fit this up for now. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep on going till we get it right. This thing's turning out to be a little bit more challenging. I've been dealing with it all day just because it was a basket case. So we're getting it in there. That's decent, but the bottom side, the drive side, is a little bit sharp. So we're just gonna change it one more time for the night. Gonna take out five thousand. Using setup bearings right now. So hopefully we get this going. Where we want it, and then tomorrow we get final install. <laughs> Wish me thinking. <laughs>
like it. It's better, a lot better. If you can't really see it, huh? Drive side, coast side. That's it for tonight. I think we've got it though. Let me sleep on it. I'm pretty sure that's good. And um, we'll do final assembly tomorrow. Take it all out, put the real bearings in, the real races. And uh, this is what we're gonna run. Just a little worried about all this, man. I got parts from Yukon, the eBay parts, Amazon parts. My goodness. It's, you know, you first start, you're like, man, is this berry, this carrier bearing or this carrier housing gonna work with this other guys? And then, <laughs> yeah. But, um, I think it's good. Should be good. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Not bad for a little jeeper in the backyard under the shade tree. All right, we'll get back with you tomorrow. All right, back out here the next day. Uh, I've been messing with this thing a little bit more. I dialed in the top. Looks pretty good. And the bottom, the drive side, uh, it's about the best I can get it um, at zero. I have no more shims on this side. Got all through that side. Got my rotational pull, rotational torque set at 18. I got seven backlash, so I'm just gonna run it. So next, um, gotta disassemble it. Gotta take out those um, setup bearings. Gonna put in the permanent bearings. I still gotta put in the lockers. Uh, we're still waiting for our inner seals. Um, but we'll go ahead and just keep on working these problems here. Uh, this thing was um, pretty tore up, but it's starting to look good now. Um, looks promising. <laughs> I think this will be just perfect. One week later. So today's goal is to get the lockers in here um, and to put our inner seals. The inner seal is supposed to come today. I don't know when, hopefully when the mailman comes, we put our inner seals in. And uh, and then after that, we got to put our lockers in. But I got these are setup bearings in here. I got to take those out on my ring gear and uh, put the, um, the permanent ones on there making sure I don't mess up my um, my shim packs. Reinstall, and then of course check all my torques, check my settings, my backlash, my rotational pull. Um, hopefully everything stays the same. If not, we gotta fiddle with it some more. And then, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So those are our goals here today. I should be able to get them. A little bit of wind today. But other than that, it's a beautiful day to be out here. The sun is shining, it's not hot. Very, very pleasant out here. All right, our seals finally came in. Put those in. Ready to move forward. Got my lockers in. Pinions in. Everything's ready to go. I'm gonna put this in for the millionth and one time right here hopefully it's the final one torque it down to specs and then after that we'll uh make sure everything's good to go and then we'll start working on our axles put our axles in and then start putting together our brakes all right i just pressed on these bearings these are the permanent bearings until i blow them out <laughs> All right.
I just torqued her down. Get a good backlash. Drive side looks okay. Coast side looks excellent. Good rotational torque here. Got my lockers in. I got these up together. Gonna chase these threads, go back on our drum, do the other side. Got this all buttoned up. Dana 44 with the center pumpkin here. Um, it's got 538 gears, new bearings, new races, new seals. Uh, rebuilt kind of the um, updated the brakes here, 11 inch brakes, new hardware, new wheel cylinders, and uh, this thing's ready to go. Thanks for watching. Ha <laughs> ha